uh, hi guys in last tutorial we checked uh, a number that whether it that is prime or not but in this tutorial we'll make a program where we can generate a list of prime numbers okay so let's start we'll make a class we'll give that number prime number list so the class name will be this let's remove it <coughs> main class okay same i'll leave the scanner uh, class of it Here we need to import the package from which this class is coming, Java DT. Right, so now uh, we ask the user to enter the limit. Next limit. max limit means like suppose i'm entering 20 so it should print all the prime numbers less than 20 okay i will take the number so, the number like the limit number is currently stored in number number so let's run a loop <coughs> sorry so here <coughs> what we do we learn two groups <coughs> one is for numbers from 2 to 20 there where we check every number 2 3 4 5 up to 20 like whether they are prime or not if they are prime we'll keep on printing them if they are not prime we'll leave them okay so let's take again one counter variable we'll see the role of this later in this program okay now we uh, we'll start a for loop int i equal to 2 i plus plus okay. So this loop will <coughs> check for e for each number from 2 to 20. And we'll uh, start another loop where we'll keep on checking. So <coughs> that loop will start from 2 to less than n minus 1. Suppose number is 3, so that loop will start from 2 to 2. So if the number is suppose 2, if i would be 2. So that loop will run only one time because the condition will be true only one first time. So if it's a five, so the loop will start uh, go from two to four, right? So j is less than num minus one j plus plus. If uh, i g equal equal to zero. So we'll do the same thing. Uh, we'll increase the counter equal counter plus plus, and we'll break the loop. Whatever we did in our previous program when we were checking for the number. Else, what we'll do? We'll <coughs> keep the counter same. Okay, we'll assign zero to that counter. Now. If the counter is increased, the loop it will break the loop, it will come out. So we'll come here if our counter equal equal to zero, right? In that case, we'll print the number. It means uh, the counter is not increased, means the number is prime number. So So 
let's give some space before every number 10 please. and then i i is the number so if that is prime then it will print else it will not print okay so the program is completed let's check whether it's working as per our requirement or not so here i am entering 20 it should print all the uh, numbers prime numbers less than 20 so something is fishy here we need to figure that out it's only printing 19 So this loop is working from 2 to the number then suppose i is equal to 2 the loop okay so here instead of num minus 1 it should be i minus 1 so suppose in i we are running the loop for 4 i is equal to 4 then loop should run 2 to 3 right so i think now it's correct let's run this 20 and here you go so 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 that's all and you can print up to any number like suppose 50 so here is the list, list of all prime numbers right It's not prime number, it is divisible by 7, so we are correct. Okay, so we are good to go. Thanks, thanks guys. So, if you like it, please uh, subscribe my channel and like the video for the upcoming uh, videos. Thank you very much.